on here guys today we're talking about the sj cam c100 plus the c100 plus is a tiny little hd action camera it's very reminiscent of the insta360 go but it is a little bit larger a little bit heavier but where it's lighter much lighter is the price. The Insta360 Go comes in at about $200 for a 19 gram camera. This is 33 grams, so about one and a half times heavier, but half of the weight of a GoPro Session 5. And the price is about 60 to $65. What? What? 60 to 65 dollars, that's incredible. You know, as you get a lot of these lighter and lighter and lighter, HD frames as you smash these GoPro cameras up you may want something that is small light and inexpensive this camera is essentially almost disposable at this pricing level but I haven't had any problems keeping it safe it comes with a variety of accessories very similar to the Insta360 Go and has a little waterproof case that I'll probably never use it has the little lanyard necklace with the magnet on there and a few other little thingies in here I'm not going to use all that piece that I will use is this little surround that clips on and has like a GoPro style little um, circle mount at the bottom. So you put this on here and here is a perfect type of quad. This is the Recon that I reviewed on the channel very recently. It's Dave C's design that's being produced by HGLRC and you see this has a GoPro style mount at the top right here. Now this 2004 motor formula feels excellent in the air but it's meant for ultra light if you were to put a full-size gopro on there that would just be far too heavy now you could put a naked gopro on there but then you have an incredibly delicate camera setup that costs two three four hundred dollars or something the smo is a good option but that's 250 bucks and man it does not have a lot of protection this has more protection and it's cheaper it just goes right onto this mount, just like this. And look at that, it sits on the battery perfectly. Um, you can get a perfect angle that lines straight up with your FPV camera. And the footage of this, okay. It's not gonna be as good as my GoPro Hero 9. It's probably not gonna be as good as, as your GoPro Hero 6. And spoiler alert, it's not even as good as the Session 5. I would put the quality of this footage closer to like the Session 4, but that's still very usable. Now what it does not have is the stabilization built into the Insta360 Go. And I will miss that, but I won't miss paying three times more. The other thing that this does not have is a limit on the file footage a five, five minute limit the insta360 go could only record for a max of five minutes which for flying fpv especially with a long range craft like this is extremely annoying it doesn't have a removable sd card it only has like i think eight gigabytes of onboard footage space that's not enough for anything this you can install your own sd card so I have like 128 gig in there. It should be fine for getting really nice long flights. Um, the footage in here is a little bit jello-y, but I have a solution for you guys. I'm gonna show you a quick set of tips in DaVinci Resolve on how to use its inbuilt stabilization in order to smooth out some of those jellos. So I do recommend that if you get this, you fly this on a well-tuned quad. The tune of this recon build out of the box is exceptionally smooth. Uh, so this was a perfect match for it. Even still on a windy day, you're gonna get a little bit of those jellos. So here, Let's take a look how to get rid of some of those. You're going to want to have your clip from the C100 Plus on the timeline right here. Then you're going to highlight it, go over to this video tab from the edit tab that you're on right here. Scroll down and there's actually going to be a stabilization section. So double click on it to open it and you'll have a series of tools. The modes right here kind of go from perspective to similarity to translation. You can think of this as three levels of stabilization that's going to be applied. So the best thing to do is start out with the bottom one, try it, see if it's stable enough. If it's not, move to the next one and finally move to the next one. For me and this footage, I needed the translation effect 
Um, I'm going to leave camera lock off, leave zoom on. This is how much cropping is going to be done because in order to do that stabilization, it does crop the image. So you're going to have a slightly more zoomed in field of view. And I'm going to leave those other uh, things the same. Go ahead and hit stabilize. It's going to run. It'll take about a minute or so, depending on how fast your computer is. And at the end, you'll have a stabilized clip that then you can take a look at. <laughs> So as you can see, you're not gonna get everything perfectly smooth. It's not gonna look as good as Hyper Smooth. It's not gonna look as good as Real Steady Go. It's not gonna look as good as the Insta360 as far as stability, but I actually think the picture is comparable. I think the picture is actually slightly better on here because the quality of the Insta360 Go footage just really left a lot to desire. Um, so if you're on analog, if you have a whoop or a micro or something that you want to get HD footage, you don't really want to spend $200 for that Insta360 Go. I feel like it just has too many limitations. If you're on a racing build and you can get one of these GoPro style mounts on your build to be able to carry an inexpensive quad, you might crash it anyway. So why not crash something that's cheap? Um, or if you just want something that you could wear on a lanyard and get footage wherever you are, it's easy to turn on. You just long press the button for about two seconds and it comes on. You'll be able to tell when it's on because it vibrates once. It's blue now, so that means it's on. And when you want to record, you just push it once and it'll start flashing, indicating that the recording is on. The microphone in this is not exceptionally great. I mean, come on, what do you expect for 65 bucks? But really cool option for all of us fpv pilots especially now that the session is harder and harder and harder to get you know how much those things are selling for on amazon if you want to give yourself nightmares go look up the price i've seen them as high as almost 800 dollars for a session five they used to go for 100 bucks just a few months ago supply and demand guys supply and demand well the demand is there for a camera like this. GoPro won't give us one. Inch360 kind of did, but it comes with so many compromises. This has less compromises, better looking footage. Yes, you lose the stabilization, you gain a little bit of weight, but the weight savings on your wallet could be worth it. What do you think in the comments, guys? What action camera are you going for? Are you gonna start doing two different action cameras? I'm using the GoPro Hero 9, but I don't think I would wanna race my nearly $400 camera on a race course. This though, sure, why not? Thanks guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I want to see somebody race. Go! Go. 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 Go.